What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another game channel. My name is AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Vampire. We are uh, picking up uh, really exactly where we left off in the last video. Uh, we are still in Whitechapel trying to uh, blackmail our way into meeting with Nurse Crane. Um, we're trying to get past her little little doorman, and we're trying to find out more about him. So uh, last time we uh, we came through here, we got the ever little crap kicked out of us by uh, by these guys. So we're gonna uh, gonna try and try and do this again. Gonna, gonna, gonna sneak by, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Gonna try and get this guy in, and 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 feed. Yum 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 yum. The number of I I, I keep saying. I keep saying yes that. the hell? I have, I have no idea what got me. It's like stan oh, I was probably I was standing in one of those those poison clouds. I think that um, the big guy dropped um, dropped something. All right. You know, guys, I know I haven't uh, haven't uploaded. I, I really have not uploaded today, and that. Uh, that's uh, that's my fault. I uh, I kind of kind of decided, uh, you know, I'd, I'd I'd nap for most of today. Oh, we don't actually have to go that way. Thought I'd uh, thought I'd take a nap today, and um, or or like really sleep in, and then I uh, kind of it was it was one of those days that every time I woke up, I'm just like, mm, I feel like going back to sleep. So I went back to sleep, and then eventually, I, you know, I just woke up. And I'm like, oh crap, it's one in the afternoon. I should probably. Uh, you know, I should, I, I should, I should, I should probably get some work done. Very well. Goodbye then. Otherwise, I, uh, I, I just, I, I just don't feel, feel right. But, uh, all right, let's find our, uh, find our way back there to talk to that guy. We still need to Nithercot. That's a... That's a neat name. Don't know why we uh could kinda like shift up here. There's no uh no one to move. And we got the priest, the journalist. We can't open the door. Couple, a uh, couple people. Oh, it's just as simple as opening a door. I'm dumb, dumb. Oh, great skull. That and uh, some other stuff. 
Uh, as I said last video, this is going to be probably more of a more of a talky episode. Me, I'm probably gonna use this time to walk around and talk to talk to people. So be forewarned and whatnot. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I'm seeing blood, but again, it's it's kind of like the last video where we got to that area with those, those um, I think they're called large beasts. There's, um, yeah, I, I can't find anything. I, I thought those basically meant that there's a, uh, like a side quest or something in the area. Hmm. Okay, nothing around there, and eh, whatever. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. He has a cold. I'll see you later. Do I have a... Do I have... I don't think I have a cure for that yet. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. No flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. What? What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy, but the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. A unique yes. point of view. The enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. Okay, we need a mesmerize level of three to get this guy. If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear doctor. <laughs> I understand your need for solitude, but it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, doctor, and my family despises me. Talking to you, I can kind of see why. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Interesting. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But, ah, oh, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel 
if she moves uptown. And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about, and that's what Whitechapel is made of. I don't like artists. I've barely been able to follow what the hell this guy's talking about. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Mythical. I'm a hopeless romantic. You're just hopeless. I love that band. It's uh, Bouncing Souls, if anybody wasn't <laughs> didn't know. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. <laughs> I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Well, we could go talk to him. But we did unlock something for the, uh, Cam Camellia, I think that's her name. Again, miss. Let's talk to her for a second. Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. And still nothing. Very well. Goodbye, then. Alright, well, let's take a look at this. There's a lot of sick people here. I'm thinking I should go and, uh... Oh, wow, her blood quality is already all the way up. Awesome. Yeah, I feel like I should uh, probably go and start, uh, start crafting some cures. Darius, is, Darius has the, uh, the bronchitis... But uh, for that, we need a hideout. So let's uh, let's go find one of our hideouts, and maybe we'll start uh, start some crafting. Hello, Miss. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm well, hello. Oh. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right then, but be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. So many... So many jokes. So little time. Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I will see you later. So many jokes. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? 
Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Interesting. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Yeah, fair enough. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time. Until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? That's interesting. That's a... That's an interesting perspective. Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Understood. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Alright. Now we could keep talking to people. But we're still on a still on a quest. I'm trying to think. Gotta check my map here. Ah. Okay, so. It should be this way. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. Did he? My father actually worries about me, then. Okay, then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Did he? My dreams are soaked with glue. All right. Well, before we talk to him, then let's uh, let's rams ra ram ransack. There we go. There's the word. Is ransack the house. Suffering in this world. It's locked. Mm, all right. Let's go talk to the kid. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. 
She said I should go out more. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Is everybody just, like, messed up with fatigue? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry? You should be grateful for what you've got. I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I, I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you... Probably all the vampires. For fear of the epidemic. I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Even my dreams are so... This, the, yep, okay, this way will lead us to a hideout, so we can do some crafting. I think it's up here. No, it is not. Did I, oops. Okay, well we came into a came into a new place. Bunch of blood in the ground. Looks like there might be a side quest or something around here. Guess we find a hideout. I'm gonna guess that's what all the uh, all the um, why can't I think what to call it? All the blood was leading us to. Right? Yeah, we're well, not gonna save just yet. We really don't have a whole lot of. I have a whole lot of experience and whatnot. Um, let's see here. First things first, let's create a regeneration serum. Um, I'm gonna back out for a second and look at what all we need to create and I'll do all this crafting uh, off camera.
Alright, well, I think I got everything crafted. It came out here, and then we, uh... Looks like there's some scowls in here. Ah, I got bit. And they're dead. It's more of this blood just sitting around everywhere. Real quick though, I'm gonna go see if I can craft, uh, if I can upgrade this hatchet. And yes I can. We don't have enough, um... Oh, cool! So we can actually absorb blood when we hit with this weapon. Increase stun. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take blood absorption. That's a pretty good... Uh, or I'll probably save it for level 3 when we boost this thing up even further, but we, uh... We're able to increase the power of our hatchet. What is addiction? Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, vampires drink blood. This may be their most specific trait. The sinister peculi peculiarity of their condition, if I may say so. But for me, this is not the most important characteristic of their diet. What has always fascinated me since I started to, st uh, to study them is the imperative need for blood they seem to endure. They want it more than anything, and this desire can drive them to expose themselves, and when they drink it, they seem to feel some sort of short trance uh, and ecstatic epiphany. Said to me once a Volkod I interviewed in Moscow, I'm convinced that this is an essential element to understand the nature and condition of the vampires. They don't drink blood because it sustains them, but that it offers them ecstasy. Vampires are addicted to blood, all of them. It is part of their nature, and those among the immortals who refuse to submit to their appetite by the strength of their own will uh, only are never freed from this addiction from Unveiling the Night by Usher Talfrey, primate of St. Paul. There we go. Jeez. So I stumble through another letter. As I, uh, I, I, I always believe that uh, I make myself sound like I'm completely illiterate on this, uh, on this channel. All right, where are we? Uh, the hell? My dog's losing its mind. Not necessarily surprising, but. Love that dog, but God, it's weird. Hey, guess what? Yum, 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 Dead now. Actually. 
actually. I think we'll head... We'll go this way. I think there's some... I think those those two guys that we met at the very beginning of the game... At uh, the very beginning of this area... Are, uh, are over here. That takes us back into Pembroke. I went too far. Can I track where these guys are on my... Nope, I just have to remember where they are. Wonderful. Just kind of have to. Just kind of have to remember. Ah, no, I fell. I think there's a. That's a hideout up there. Yum, 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 yum. Despicable. Yep, hideout. Guys down there, we go up here. Up here was that door that we went into. We drop down. Nope, that's locked. We have to go through the other way. I have all these cures I want to try and... Try and do some healing of people. You know, be the uh, be the change you want to see in the world, sort of sort of thing. What, uh, what investigations do we have active here? So those are good. Uh, okay, other than the Braille one, we're we're clean. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. All right. You need assistance. Please. I'm feeling tired these days. Well, you're lucky I have medicine you for go. you. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Goodbye, young man. Me? I'll not die in some piss-stinking alley wreaking worse. If I remember, Albert has a migraine, which we really can't treat. 
Yeah, we can't treat you because I don't have the cure for that yet. But at least I was able to help the kid. She's good. She doesn't have any any illness at the moment. Uh, do we want to head back? Yeah, you know, screw it. We're we're here. Let's keep going. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again? Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. That was really easy. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. I know you have I know you have the bronchitis. Well, I think you do. Take this and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor. <laughs> it must be my lucky day. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area. Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man for sure, but a very poor writer. <laughs> Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? <coughs> Excuse me. Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Okay, let's How ask this question. Crane, Darius. Why does she trust you? 
I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Understandable. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Seems like a good guy. Alright, unlock that gate. Let's unlock this one while we're over here. So we can we can see them like this, but we can't talk to them. So I'm gonna guess they're not actual like characters. They're just um, character models just sitting around to make it look like the world has uh, has life. What what was that that we just picked up then? Interesting. So much loot. Give me a second. I'm not done. I'm not done stealing. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What Are you gonna wash your hands or anything? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor, none at all. Fantastic. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. So yeah, it's either we let him die now or we do this and then try and... Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. You know, fight the infection later. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Huh. 
must first suture the artery, find the wound, the source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? If I say yes, would you believe me? We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Yes, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. here to test my bedside manners I'm curious so does that uh... okay so he wasn't a wasn't a like a citizen in this area he was just a okay I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us so how might I be of service dr. Reed I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime. And it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Oh, we're missing a hint. I'm ending this now. <laughs> we could we could eat her. <sighs> no. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice then. No, just a privileged client. 
My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. Interview with the vampire. That's... Huh. Oh, okay. So we can't uh, we can't get that hint because of something interesting. The hell was that? Getting a bunch of pre-win. Hey, buddy. Guess what? Yum 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 yum. I will not stop that, by the way. That. Yeah, what did you expect? I was hitting him with an axe. <laughs> Killed him. All right. Well, we could go see. Uh... Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Doctor Reed. Come on in. We could go see. Uh... What's her What's her name? Ashbury. Uh, no, honestly, there's no real reason to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's actually head to the uh, to the to the chapel. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. Let's uh, give this kid the cure for his fatigue. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. You'll feel better with this. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. 
I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Goodbye, young man. All right. Well, I'll I'll run around and give everybody these these cures that I crafted, uh, and I'll actually call this one here. I want to say, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please remember, you can always find me over on Facebook, Twitter, the website, minds.com. Links to all the stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name is AJ Gels. This is the Empire Gaming Channel. I'm out. <laughs>